SEMGREP has built-in support for GitHub Enterprise. You can easily implement it into your development workflow, just like you would with GitHub. Integration with GitHub Enterprise is available to anyone using the Teams tier or Enterprise tier of SEMGREP. To set up SEMGREP with GitHub Enterprise, you'll need to add a SEMGREP CI step to a CI pipeline that's set up to scan your enterprise project. This process will look slightly different depending on what CI provider you're using, but you should be able to add a SEMGREP job to any CI provider. We have some sample configurations in our docs for how to set up SEMGREP CI under our sample CI configs page. We also have step-by-step -step instructions from within the SEMGREP app on how to run a scan in CI for a few CI providers, as well as video tutorials on our SEMGREP YouTube channel. Since the topic of this video is GitHub Enterprise, I'm going to spend less time on the CI integration and more time on the specifics of integrating SEMGREP in the GitHub Enterprise. For the sake of simplicity, I decided to use GitHub Actions. I set this up by putting a file in the .github slash workflows directory called semgrep.yaml. From within this YAML, I describe the steps that I want semgrep to run as part of this GitHub action. You can configure this in many different ways, but I chose to have it run when a push is made to the develop branch, whenever a pull request is made, and on a weekly schedule. In order to use semgrep CI, I'm also using a variable called semgrep app token which I have as a repository secret for this project. You can generate this token from within the SEMGREP app under the Settings tab under Tokens. Once you've got SEMGREP set up in CI, you should see findings for your project under the Findings page. From here, you can sort through your findings and triage them. If you're using SEMGREP Teams tier or above, you have access to PR comments on your GitHub Enterprise instance. To do this, navigate to the Settings tab and to the SCM Management section. Click New SCM and select GitHub Enterprise. From here, you'll need to input the URL of your GitHub Enterprise instance, as well as an access token that we'll use on your behalf to leave PR comments. To generate a personal access token, go into your GitHub Enterprise account, User Settings, Developer Settings, and Personal Access Tokens. Make sure to generate a token with the following scopes, Repo, Workflow, Write, Discussion, and Write Org. You can also find these permissions from within our docs. Once you have this token, Copy it back into the SCM management section, along with the URL of your GitHub Enterprise instance. Once you've done this, you should see SEMGREP comments on your pull requests. They'll be from the account that the access token is associated with and provide you with info on the findings that were discovered in that pull request. One last thing, GitHub Enterprise infrastructure tends to be behind a firewall or a VPC. As such, you may need to enable inbound traffic from semgrep.dev so we can leave comments on your pull requests. You may also need to enable outbound and inbound traffic to semgrep.dev from your CI provider if your CI setup is also sitting behind a firewall or VPC. This is so we can fetch the rules from your rule board and upload your findings to the semgrep app. If your hyperlinks are looking good but your PR comments aren't showing up, this is the most likely cause. For more information on setting up SEMGREP with GitHub Enterprise, check out our docs on integrating SEMGREP into SCM tools.